Welcome, this is the 6.2 homework solution for the ready, set, go. The ready part, it says, um, you're going to find the distance using the Pythagorean theorem. What do I mean by that? All right, let's look at this, okay? You see that this is a right triangle, and we are trying to solve for this distance from here to over there, this right triangle, okay? The hypotenuse. The hypotenuse can also be the distance, okay? So to do that, it's like 6.1's uh, solution. We need the um, length, which is going to be 4 and 7, and we're solving for the hypotenuse, which is going to be C, okay? If you need more details, go back to 6.1. I, uh, I showed it, okay? All right, so here, 4 is going to be A, B is going to be um, 7, C is the unknown. Substitute, simplify. You get 65 equals c squared. Square root of both sides to get rid of the squared. C equals to 8.06, roughly around there. Number two. Again here, you see that the distance here is <coughs> the length of the hypotenuse. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus b squared equals c squared. Your two values, 5 and 7, plug it in. Square root of 74 is around 8.6, which is c. Here, again, let's do this, All right? The two le legs are 2 and 8. 2 squared plus 8 squared, 64 plus 4, 68. C squared, all right, square root both sides. C equals to 8.25. So I got 4, okay? Here, it looks, it's not a right triangle, but we know that it can be a right triangle, okay? Um, very straightforward. By cutting the triangle in half, so I'm only dealing with the right-hand side. So I have a leg of 2, a height of 2, so a, a is 2, b equals 2, and the hypotenuse is unknown, okay? So it's c. All right, substitute a squared plus b squared equals c squared becomes 2 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. 4 plus 4 is 8, so square root of 8 equals to c squared. So C equals around 2.83. If you want to know the other side, it would be 2.83 here and 2.83 for the other value over there. Okay, it depends on what you try to figure out. Remember, always break it down to a right triangle so you can apply the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem only applies to a right triangle. All right, let's look at the set part. Uh, it says slope of the perpendicular line is going to ask us to um, find uh, the new equation. All right, so the original equation here I have as a 2 over 1 because the slope is change of y over change of x. So it's 2 over 1. The y-intercept here is negative 2. So in that equation, it becomes y equals 2 over 1x plus negative 2. Now, if I want the new line, if it's going to be Parallel, it's going to be the same slope. Parallel equals the same slope. The y-intercept here, I just made it 3. It's right there. Plug it in. y equals 2 over 1x plus 3. This equation and this equation are both parallel. You can see it visually right there. The next one, same thing. Slope here was m equals to negative 1 over 4 because it goes down 1 and across 4. The y-intercept here is 4. So the equation would be y equals negative 1 over 4x plus 4. The parallel slope is m equals to negative 1 over 4. Y-intercept is negative 2 because I did it right down there. So the equation would be y equals to negative 1 over 4x plus negative 2. These two equations here are parallel. You can see it visually right there. Let's do the next one again. Let's find the slope. The slope is the change of the horse, the change of the vertical over divide by the change of the horizontal. How much is it going up or down? It's going down negative. It's going down four, so it's negative four. And the change in the horizontal, which is x, is changing of one. So the slope is negative four over one. The y-intercept here it's crossing one, so it's right there. So the equation would be y equals to negative 4 over 1x plus 1. What is the slope for the new one? The slope is negative 4 over 1. It is the same slope. The y-intercept here is b equals to 4. It is the same. Um, it, it could be any y-intercept. 
but remember the slope has to be the same because it is parallel. So the equation for the new line is y equals to negative 4 over 1 x plus 4. Remember the slope just has to be the same for it to be parallel. Again you can see it visually here that the two lines are parallel. They have the same slope therefore they cannot touch. Let's look at the next one perpendicular. Remember perpendicular is when they have opposite reciprocal slopes. What does that mean? Uh, you flip and you change the sign so that when you multiply the two slopes together, they equal negative 1. Let's look at the first one. The y-intercept here is uh, 1. The slope here is 1 over 3 because you're going up 1 across 3. So the equation for the given line would be y equals 1 third x plus 1. The perpendicular slope would be its reciprocal. I did it visually here. It goes down 3 and across 1 or negative 3 over 1. So the new equation for the new line, keeping the same y-intercept, just flipping and changing the sign for the slope, it becomes y equals negative 3 over 1x plus 1. 9. Again, the y-intercept here is negative 1. The slope here would be negative 4 over 1. How did I do that? I go down, I go down 4 and a right 1. Down means negative 4. And the going to the right, it's 1. Okay, Because that is the change of my horizontal. So the equation for the given line would be y equals negative 4 over 1x plus negative 1. Perpendicular slope means I flip the slope. So 4 over 1 becomes 1 over 4. The negative becomes a positive. So the equation for the new line is y equals 1 fourth x plus negative 1. Let's look at 10. Y-intercept here is negative 2. The slope here is 3 over 2. How do I do that? Look, you go up 3 across 2 right or you can say okay you see how it goes up three across two up three then to the right two that's what I mean by across so the equation for the given line would be y equals to three over two x plus negative two negative two was the y-intercept so what is the perpendicular slope I flip this so it becomes two over three positive becomes a negative so the perpendicular slope would be m equals to negative two over three the Y-intercept here is negative 2, so I kept the y-intercept the same. Plug in that new perpendicular slope. So y equals negative 2, 3x plus negative 2. All right, let's go to the go part here. It says solve the equation for the indicated variable. All right, so here I'm not going to really explain it. All right, very straightforward. Distribute, I state the variable by subtracting 3x to both sides. All right, there was a 3x here and a 5x here. Isolate the variable, isolate the constant by moving it to the other side. The opposite of plus 8 is minus 8. Divide to make the coefficient 1, so I divide by 2 to both sides. I get x equals to negative 17 over 2. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go explain this in over detail because this is uh, a review of an older concept. Okay. If you need help, look at the older videos on solving multiple step equations. All right. Here, isolate the variable. My minus 3, isolate the constant by minus 22. I right, make sure the coefficient is 1. That's why I divide by 5. Next step. All right, divide now. I'm trying um, here. I'm trying to solve for x. A lot of you want to distribute, but if you distribute, you make it more complex. You're trying to get x alone. So I'm going to divide m. Okay, you see how x is alone with that minus 2. Then I'm going to add 2 to both sides. x equals to that. Okay. Remember, your goal is to solve. That means to get that variable alone. Okay, here, solve for y. Okay, the first thing is that ax you have to deal with. So I'm going to subtract ax to both sides. The other thing attached to the y at this point is a b. So you're going to divide b to both sides. So y equals to c minus ax divided by b. All right, there you go. Those are all your solutions for the 6.2.